This is dirty. Come on. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Make this quick. Good deed. I knew I had to seek you out. We sisters had a collection to help further your cause in this wicked land. Thanks a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. Now, off camera, I have. Uh, completed some more of our challenges so we're now up to rank eight of the master hunter which uh, means we now have to kill a bear with our <laughs> melee knife yeah <laughs> so anyway i've discovered a easier method of doing that um, it involves being on a mission later on in the game. Th there's a section where you kind of have to fight a bear. Obviously, the game doesn't want you to be using your knife. Um, but there is a one-on-one -on -one kind of fight with a bear that apparently is an easier way of doing this because it's just you and the bear and you're in kind of like a little arena that you can maneuver around. The problem with trying to kill a bear in tall trees is as soon as you start fighting a bear, another one will come, and then another one, and another one, and another one, and they keep coming. Like, to get a bear on its own, man, that's hard. Now, I have discovered that the only thing that actually matters is getting the kill. So you can weaken the bear and there's a long list of methods you can use to, to weaken the bear, you know, like fire at it like eight times in the hind leg with this revolver and then use two shotgun shells in the side with this shotgun and then finish it off with two swipes of the knife, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, while you're trying to micromanage that and you've got other bears coming in, yeah. So the recommended way of doing it is this particular way. Now, there's also a cheaty little clause with this way as well. Um, because if you die by the bear, right, there's a checkpoint just before that scene starts 
Whereas if you're out in the wilderness and you're fighting a bear and you almost get it or you get close to getting it or something like that, and then you die, you've then got to slowly load your save, get back on the horse, spend a couple minutes getting back out to tall trees, finding a bear and trying again. Man, it's it's a pain in the dick, to be honest. Uh, anyway, we also finished off the Herbalist Challenge, which uh, allows us now to make tonic, which is... I'm not actually 100% sure what tonic does. The game didn't explain it, but uh, it, it refills like some of your health and some of your dead eye. I don't know how we make tonic, or whether it's just as you pick up herbs, they automatically get turned into the tonic. Again, the game doesn't really tell you. So also we have Sharp Shooter Rank, which is any six enemies without re disarm any six enemies without reloading or changing weapons. I don't think that's going to be super difficult, but I do think it's going to be fiddly because I don't think you have to disarm six enemies in a row or anything like that. Oh, well, I mean, it kind of is in a way, actually without reloading or changing weapons. So yeah, I, okay, so it doesn't necessarily have to be in a row, but it does have to be in somewhat quick succession. So I guess the best time for us to do that would be if we find ourselves uh, challenging a fort or something like that, which we will do at some point, because there's still some uh, outposts to do. Now, I've taken the liberty of getting us back to Mexico and we're going to go do the Dalius and Sons because we should have everything we need for that mission and there should have been and I shouldn't have forgotten a uh, video before this video started a short clip of me completing those other quests anyway let's go all right now I'm pretty confident in saying that this is not the greatest weather for you to be taking your first of what I'm going to assume is your final flight, but hell. Hey, come here. Oh, hello again, sir. Oh, you are kind. Thank you for bringing me these materials. I'll be cooking up a batch of adhesive in no time. That'd be a service. You let me know when your machine's ready for your maiden voyage. Oh, I will indeed, sir. I'd like witnesses to the glory of man soaring through the air like an eagle. An eagle, sir! Oh, my name's not Charles Kinnear. Yeah, return to Charles in a couple of days. Ah, really? So we've come all the way over here just for that. Well, that's kind of lame. Um, I guess the only thing left to do right this second, to be honest, is going back over here to see Agent Ross. Now, as much as I'd like to quick travel, we can't quick travel between the two countries. Why, I don't know. It's really infuriating, but it is what it is. So I guess I'm going to catch you fine people over there. Now, in regards also, quick note, to the bounty hunts, apparently there's about 45 of them in the game. Now, um, I don't know if they repeat or whatever or cycle through once you've done them all, but you only actually have to do 20 of them to get the uh, completion for the bounty hunts you don't have to do like all 45 it's just 20 which is interesting and i guess maybe a bit of a mercy on the developers uh, side uh now one more word before i forget uh we need to go to the gunsmith because forgetting the i think it was rank five of either the sharpshooter or the man no i think it was the sharpshooter or it possibly was the hunting. But I think we was already on the hunting. Yeah, no, I think it was. I think it was for killing all the uh, cougars. Uh, we've unlocked the buffalo rifle um, at the gun store. I've never had the buffalo rifle before, I don't think. I didn't even know it was a thing. So we're going to go back and buy it. Anyway, guys, I will meet you back in New Austin. Okay, cool. So... We're back, we're rested, and let's go buy ourselves the new gun. 
it's still absolutely hammering it down with rain. Um, but that's fine. Also, why... Okay. It'd be nice if when you was in town, uh, the shops actually appeared on your mini-maps always. I don't know why they don't. Yeah, the gun shop is not showing up. Is it because he's not open? No, he's open. It, all right, well, I mean, he's open, but he's not, not here. I mean, I mean that's a problem, really. Um, dude, are you just not? Are you on break or something? Like what? No, he's just. Hey, buddy. I can't remember. There is a way that you can. Um, talk to people, but I can't remember how it was. Um, okay. Well, I don't know what's going on with the gun shop. I don't know why the guy's not actually there. But, whatever. We'll, we'll catch him another time, I guess. Um, now, as for bounties, how many bounties have we actually done? And then, 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 right. Crimes. We haven't really done a lot of crimes. Collectibles. Uh, I don't think that matters. Armadillo skinned. Oh, right. Okay. So it actually tells you how many of each critter you've uh, skinned. That's actually important because there's an achievement for killing and skinning. Oh, I think it's for killing, but I don't know about skinning. Uh, one of every animal. Um, that's an achievement that I'm not sure I'm going to be doing. Going to be honest. So, don't care about that kind of stuff. Does it tell us? Missions? General? How many? Uh, areas discovered. I mean, it must tell us here somewhere. Strangers met 13. I know there's 15. Um... Did not tell us here anywhere. I mean, it must do. Okay, so I've been through, like, everything. And it doesn't appear that there's anywhere that actually tells you how many bounties you've completed. Which is frustrating. But whatever. Let's go see Mr. Government Agent. And I'm really annoyed that I can't buy that uh, buffalo rifle. Because that sounds pretty epic to me. Bear one, another burden. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. 107, 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. 117. Typical bean counter. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Think, sir? Like hanging you for murder. Or confiscating all of your property. Like that little farm of yours. Or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. 
Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, well, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston. Your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? After you, sir. Well, he's a bit of a penis. But then the reality of the situation is obviously. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. I just hope it doesn't go off by mistake. Did not know he gave us a new gun. 1911, by the look of things. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. 344, 3.45, 3.47, 3.48, 3.45. <laughs> Hopefully Wes Dickens gets the fuck out of here for once. Doesn't squander this uh, lucky break. Head for the wreck of the serendipity, Mr. Fordham. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Brilliant. Um, yeah, so these guys are kind of a dick, but what we have to remember... And lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Is John Marston? Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. Is not a nice guy. I never said anything quite so trite. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth. And strangers <laughs> what the hell is this guy Because doing? according to my files, you are the whore's son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families, too. Come now. You're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston, but we can. Hmm. She's running well, sir. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Slow, but so convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Fordham? The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliché, admittedly, but still a dying breed. 
like buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Anything is possible. <laughs> Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. In the form of assholes like you. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Yes, let's do just that. So... Come on, then, Marston. You're with me. That didn't sound good. I do like this uh, motor car that we have here. It is um, kind of cool. It's a shame that you can't actually get one and drive. Uh, may oh, maybe you can. I Not that I know of, though. Um, so let's peep at this new gun that we've been given. There's the high-power pistol. And yeah, um, it is higher power than any of the other pistols we've had, which is nice. Yes, sir. Um, is the priority. We go in, take him down, get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Yeah, the trouble with these government types is their penises. You know, they really are dicks. Like, you cannot like them. And I suppose there's, uh, you know, <laughs> something with it we could all think about there. Seems real quiet, don't you think? Yes. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. Well, I've been here hunting animals, and it's always been pretty quiet to me. I like the way they talk about how reliable that vehicle is. <laughs> oh, hello. There's someone up there. You go investigate. I'll keep watch here. Yeah, sure, buddy. Sure. Investigate the noise. So, what do we have going on in here? Oh, something's going on upstairs. Yeah, no shit. How about you keep your fucking noise down? Okay, it looks like there's... Huh. So I wonder who's being tortured. I'm glad we could help old Nigel out as well. Because, you know, he was a bit of a... Well, snake oil... Um salesman but uh it was mostly harmless he's just robbing people well hang on now nah, let's think about that a little bit more he was robbing people of their money and he was selling them poison so uh, maybe he's not that innocent so we've got to keep going up I mean, we're kind of getting there. Or do we have to go down to go up? Nope, that's water. Probably not the best place to go. Someone is being really horrifically tortured upstairs. I hope that's no one that we have had dealings with in the past. And I'm not being facetious. I honestly can't remember. I don't know. I have completed this game, but it was a very long time ago. Um. Over here, I found him. Good God, that's her informant. Oh. Gnostics, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. No shit. shit. You'll have to carry this man. I don't think he can walk. Of course. What the hell happened? Bastard! We need to clear a path out of here. Okay. Ah! Let's go. This is gonna get worse before it gets better. 
Well, your informant was kind of fucked. Got us stitched up. And now I've got to carry this bloody sack of shit. Interesting to see some Indians, though. We haven't seen any native Indians in this game. Um, I'm trying to think if there were... Some more in the... First game. I can't remember. You would have thought there would have been... Kind of their own sort of faction, I suppose. I'm, I'm a bit fuzzy on the history of this particular time period, to be honest. Oh, this pistol was amazing. We obviously know how they were exterminated. Another piece of horrifically dark history that should not be forgotten. Just because it was a bad, awful time in history doesn't mean it should be forgotten. I think it's almost more important to remember the details. Anyway. Ooh, so I thought it was two bullets with this gun. But no, it's more than that. What is my... Agent friend doing? He's kind of not doing much of anything, to be honest. Whilst I'm carrying this sack of shit. I mean, honestly, you could have walked. Or at least the agent could have, you know, carried your carcass up to the automobile. I guess this mission is going to run a lot deeper than I thought. I did have my suspicions that this was going to be a one and done mission, but I guess not. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go. There might be more of them. Yeah, he's been tortured pretty badly. Well, at least they actually looked after him. They didn't just leave him to die, which... Alive. What the hell happened down there? I wouldn't be surprised with these guys. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh... Uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant, Nostis. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. <laughs> Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some <laughs> such. You shut your mouth! Well, is that it, or is there going to be more? Oh, nice and <laughs> nice and reliable. What's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. <laughs> it's Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Hold them. We'll fix that damn engine. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? We actually do break down? <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so. Let's see. This is going to be rough. Let's see if we can disarm six men. Um, oh, this is going to be a challenge. Right. See, the trouble is, did, is he disarmed? He is actually disarmed. Cool. Um... Right, there we go. There's another one disarmed. Let's quickly take a health potion before we die. Uh, snake oil? Wait, do we? Yes, we do have medicine. Excellent. Right, I don't know if that counts as being disarmed. Let's see. Nope, that's not good. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Alright, this is going to be really freaking awkward. Oh, he just blew his mate's brains out. 
which makes me happy. All right. So let's. Is it the snake oil? Yeah, refills the dead eye meter. And nope, we're dead. However, does that count towards our progress? Let's have a quick look. Um, journal. It does not. So I'm gonna say. Is it worth trying to do it here? That's the thing. Hmm. Because there's a lot of guys here. There's too many, though. We can't really get our own pace, can we? You know what? Let's just fight our way through these guys. Um, because, uh, I don't know. I'm. Just, this one's going to be a difficult one to actually accomplish. And one second, guys. Okay, just had a phone call there from my boss asking me if I'm coming back to work because I've had COVID. Uh, luckily today I should have been in work, but um, I managed to get the day off on holiday instead. So it doesn't count as a sickness. Um, health we desperately need. Oh God, this is going extremely poorly, I think. Two more gone. Right. <laughs> no way. Okay, so why are we all of a sudden fighting um, natives? It's kind of curious. Right, you're done. Okay, let's give that a go. That should thin the numbers a little bit more. Okay, so this gun, although it has like a huge magazine... It doesn't actually fire that quickly. Yeah, I don't think these guys care about messing with the government, I'm going to be honest. Just going to put it out there. They don't seem to have anything on them worth taking. I can't see any more of them. Portum, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You make me blush with all these kind words. <laughs> so much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. Bad workmen shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. <laughs> Even if it was running fine, that still caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you've said enough. We'll find Vanderlyn soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now. Try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much-needed vacation, and in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed, I assure you. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. I can think of far more upsetting alternatives. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal. <laughs> See what he can get out of them. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. <laughs> really? Nothing like a bit of casual Here racism, huh? Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. Mm -hmm. We should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. 
They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, oh, Mr. Ross, uh, Mr. Fordham. G good day. G good I remember day. that what on guy. Earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor now. McDougal. Mm -hmm. uh, we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good one. Native problem? Well, there we go. So, the trouble is with these government types, they continuously move the goalposts. And uh, obviously that's where Mr. Marston is getting a little bit upset. Anyway, guys. Actually, before we go our separate ways once more, let's go see if I can buy this damn rifle. Because I, for one, am really curious at what a buffalo rifle looks like in this game. Now, as the icon is now on the map, I'm assuming the dude's actually here. Yeah, right there, brother. There we go. Buffalo rifle. It's not even that expensive. Which is curious. Wow. Very high-powered hunting rifle. Only holds one bullet, so make every shot count. Yeah, look at that damage that it does, though. Maxed out. Very, very nice. That's good. Thank you. Cheers, pal. Out of the way, love. Um, so, where would that be? Hey, friend. Not there. Buffalo rifle. Oof. Yeah, she's a... She's a... Powerful peach. They did. Well, this will be a fine... Demonstration of my weapon. Okay, where has this little dick bag got to? Come on. Alright, I think he might be getting away from us. We're on like 35 minutes. Oh no, John, come on. Look through the gap, man. Yep, trouble is, <laughs> there's this fucking rage engine, man. It's, ugh, it's fantastic on paper, but it really has aged like milk. Anyway, enough about my whining. Let's continue. And here's me thinking it would have been quicker to just run after the guy. I guess not. You right there, fella? What do you think of that, huh? So. Excuse me, mister. 72 bucks. Mr. Marston. Hello. Do I know you? Everybody seems to know me. Right, let's get back. And this uh, video is going to be a nightmare to upload. But that's okay. That's my problem. Alright. There you go. I took care of the thief. Here's the money he stole. You are a saint and a scholar. Here's well, I don't know about being a scholar. But, you know. Anyway, now I'm going to bid you guys farewell. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.